cooking show and today is the day number four uh, of our trying to revive uh, the kefir grain and we achieved success actually it took less than four four days because it's still uh, about four hours away from the 24 hour cycle and I actually noticed the change in the consistency of the milk uh, earlier in the day around noon uh, but since my camera woman was not around uh, I had to wait until today until now but this is what the milk you can you can see the consistency it's not it's not liquid it's kind of solidified and um, you can see kind of inside how it looks but um, so we have to break this break the, this down because we have to strain the uh, oops, I'm making a mess here. We have to strain the kefir grains again so we can use it um, to continue this process. So, but I, I'm gonna just use this um, little strainer that I have from. Um, I specifically bought it for. Um, for this kefir project and you have to kind of be patient to kind of help help along by doing this like back and forth because it's it's coming very slowly you can you can see but it will take uh, you know a little time and at the end it will separate the the, the kefir will be uh, sieved through this little strainer um, oops so this from this point on your instruction that come with the kefir will tell you to increase the amount of milk by half a cup and um, that's what we're going to do after I um, squeeze and kind of finish separating kefir from the grain uh, so this is how you know after being a little bit patient letting through this you can see there is like yellowish I don't know if you can see it in the camera but there is like ye yellowish uh, specks on it so that's the kefir grain you don't want to do it uh, because you can probably squeeze if you do it too much but this is probably like a, a tablespoon or teaspoon full of stuff there will be still left over from the like from the kefir so you just want to transfer that uh, together with the grains into your container clean container and then from this point on we will increase as I said we will increase uh, the milk by half a cup and we will do that every 24 hours until we reach to the point that you have um, this um, jar f uh, filled and this is the jar that we normally when we we have the kefir going this is the size of the jar that we normally um, produce so this is a cup and we need uh, another half a cup to um, to add that so there's cup and a half tomorrow it's going to be two cups then two and a half cups and so forth so it will take a few more days for us to fill uh, to make uh, to arrive to the point that the jar will be filled now this kefir that has been uh, kind of sort of success it doesn't taste yet as a kefir so I would discard it. Don't 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 consume this yet. Uh, give it to your dogs if you want. If you have dogs or chickens, uh, they will uh, they will like that. Uh, so we will continue with this video until uh, we are on it at the point when the jar is full, and that's from that point on 
uh, this kefir is safe to consume. Uh, one of the things that you probably uh, need to know about the kefir, when the kefir is made and the milk is fermented, uh, you can actually store it in the refrigerator up to two months easy. Uh, you don't have to drink it right away, it stores the fermented kefir or fermented milk kefir uh, stores a long period of time. I think the longest that we had stored in the refrigerator was almost three and a half months and didn't go bad. Uh, I wouldn't suggest to do that, but you know, because it doesn't make sense once you make it to keep it in the refrigerator, you should be, should be eating or drinking it because it's a wonderful uh, source of probiotics. So uh, thank you for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow for the next one.